We are currently in our Uber on the way to the bus station. We're headed to the south bus station in Quito to take a bus two hours to a town called Latacunga. We arrived at our hotel in Latacunga. We checked in and then we were offered some coffee. Who am I to say no to some coffee from a little sweet Ecuadorian lady? <laughs> yeah, she's really cute. Yeah. yeah, this whole experience has been pretty cool so far. <laughs> what? Look how cute this is! What? Here's the official tour. Over here, there's a cute little dining table plus chair. Bedside lamps. Over there, cupboard. Over here, TV. And back over there, bathroom. And now check out this view. After some time exploring the beautiful historic district of Latacunga, we went in search of somewhere to eat. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Do you want to try a bite and let me know how it is? We came to the perfect spot, dude. This is amazing, eh? <laughs> I'll, I'll try a bite in a sec. Okay. Oh, and they brought us an assortment of little sauces. It's got guacamole yeah. on there, eh? Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's a huge burger. Mm. Is it good? Oh, dang. We're back in the hotel room now. We stopped on the way home and got some snacks for lunches uh, for tomorrow. Two different types of peanuts, a bag of trail mix, and tres bananas. So we're doing the Kia Toa. Kia, Kia. Kila Toa? We are in Latacunga and we are here because tomorrow we start the Kilatoa Loop. The Kilatoa Loop is one of the most popular multi-day hikes in Ecuador. The route through the Andes Mountains totals a whopping 39 kilometers, which we will split up over the course of the next three days. At the end of each day, there will be a hostel that we will be hiking to that will have a room for us, as well as a breakfast and a dinner that will be included in the price of each hostel, an average of $30 a night. On a real note, I am very nervous for tomorrow. I've never even camped before. I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> it's a lot of outdoors. Typically, Wyatt and I travel with two backpacks each, but for this trek, we needed to significantly lighten our load. I chose this specific hotel in Latacunga because they will store our big bags for us for free until they get back. This meant that we now had the task ahead of us of rearranging our baggage so that we had exactly what we needed for the next three days on our person and could store the rest until we finished the hike. Oh my, there's actually quite a lot of layers of blanket under here. Check this out. Aw, it's such like colorful pattern. <laughs> okay, you guys, tomorrow's a big day. We are gonna be up pretty early. So we'll see you in the morning. guys, first day of the Kiatoa loop for us. We have to be at the bus station for 6 a.m. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, first we saw alpacas, then there was a huge bang underneath the bus, and now the bus is pulled over on the side of the road. South American bus travel. And now we're moving again. <laughs> I guess we're good. There's some crazy sound coming from the side of the bus where we heard the bang from. We're pretty sure that like a tire just ruptured. We are off the bus and we are in the town of Sigchos, which is right near the start of the hike. We're gonna head to get some breakfast now. There's a puppy over here. What is this? So for today's hike, I have three goals. First one, most important goal to me is to meet an alpaca. Bonus points if I get to touch it. Wyatt thinks that's not gonna be possible, but fingers crossed. Goal number two is to make friends either along the trail or at the hostel tonight. And goal number three, do not get lost. 
We just finished up breakfast. I go to the man, we're like, uh, Quanto, like how much? And uh, he goes, Traz. I was like, what? Three dollars. Three dollars for two breakfasts and two coffees? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> All right, cool. So we left him a five. I absolutely love going to little restaurants like the one that we just did that are super local because I feel as though it gives you like much more of an insight into the culture and how people live and eat in a certain place. And it's just like a really good thing to do while traveling. Each day of the loop, we will be trekking until we arrive at that day's hostel. Each hostel is located inside of a small mountain village along the route. Today's destination and our first hostel is located in the village of Istin Livy. I was super nervous about being too cold on this hike and I've already changed into short sleeves, which is really good. In the sun, it's really, really hot. We need to put some sunscreen on our face too because we're still at the equator, it's still a super powerful sun. got this. It's a little dirt. There you go. Atta girl. Atta girl. Atta girl. It's like every direction you turn out here is just an unbelievable canvas. Why does this bridge look so sketchy? It's not too bad. Still going the right Listen, Livy, that away. Don't touch the barbed wire. Not friendly. Oh god. Holy. Wow. Need help? Yeah, you're doing good. Not too bad, huh? finished our snack break. Now we're back on route to Isn Livy. While we were chilling, a couple different people passed us. All of them spoke English, seemed pretty friendly, and hopefully we'll see a couple of them later on at the hostel and be able to make some friends. We found ourselves a mushroom there, but I kind of want to pull it and eat it, but it could kill me. This is going to be... <sighs> it's like, I like your breath. This is going to be my best birthday ever. Last year, on my birthday, we were in Nashville, Tennessee. This year, Ecuador. Oh, don't cough. Oh, you okay? Oh, coughing again. It appears that we're coming to a road, and that road marks 30 minutes to town and the completion of hiking for day one. That right there is the town of Isn Livy. I'm having an emergency bathroom situation. Oh, your name's on the list. Yeah, I can. Mm. So here's a brief little tour of our room at Hostel Taita Cristobal. We actually have like a double bed and a single bed. Both have adorable alpaca blankets. Extra blanket over here, which I'm sure we're gonna be using. And then in here is the bathroom. Pretty basic, toilet sink shower, and apparently there is hot water. Meet Philip and Elisa, our two new friends. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of them in the next video when we finish the Kilatoa and celebrate Lindsay's 27th birthday. But for now, what's that in the drone shop? Uh -huh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, show me, show me, show me. guys. We found, we, found, we found alpacas on the drone. We've accomplished every mission today if I go meet those alpacas right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello. Oh. Hi. Oh my god. I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it, I don't want to. You were so close. I we met an alpaca, made new friends, didn't get lost. What an amazing day. You having fun? Yeah, I feel like I'm at some amazing like summer camp or something. It does feel like we're at summer camp. Yeah, it's so cool. But wait, you never went to summer camp. No, I didn't. I just watched movies where they went to summer camp, but I imagine it was like this. It's like this. I went twice. <laughs> 
Ah, okay. <laughs> Vlogs are made possible because of support on Patreon. Subscribe to our Patreon today and get access to tons of exclusive content, including personalized postcards, deleted scenes, and entire vlogs that we haven't released to the public. Okay, Lizzie, where are you where are you going right now? I just realized that hours ago I put the GoPro in the yard outside, facing the llamas and this hostel. And it's just been sitting there this entire time. Press the playlist on screen right now to watch all of our travel vlogs from the very beginning.